Okay, it's just about 8 o'clock on uh, Sunday, the 12th of February 2023. We're at the Sputnik. Um, that's facing north. And that's to the west, down the valley. That's across the Otaniqua Pass. We're at the top of the Otaniqua Pass. There's Fensterberg. And then... There's George in the distance. And then we're going to Campus Cliff, which is somewhere over there. And uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, conditions today, apparently, the weather is going to be quite hot. Uh, we started at 20 degrees Celsius and going to turn at about 30 degrees Celsius sometime during the midday. Wind, uh, wind is not going to be more than 20 kilometers an hour I think I saw on the forecast. At the moment there's a nice cool breeze. Hope it stays like that. Yes, I'm still on my way. Okay. And then this goes to pass to pass. What does this say? Yeah, it says Sputnik. It looks more like a lunar lander. I said that before. But everybody calls it the Sputnik. And here we go. Okay, it's about 10 past 8. That's going up the mountain. It's called Bone Crusher over there. And then we're going off to the left, to the west. And there's the valley again. That's an equal pass. George. And that way there in the distance is Craddock Peak, that highest point. It's still 10 past, just a little bit down the way and looks like the path goes up the ridge over there. I have done this before but it's been a good couple of years so I don't really remember how it goes. Just following our nose at the moment. Carl's done it before. I think Michelle's done it as well. It's about quarter past 
And there's a little stream with a waterfall. You can hear it from the trail. That's the way ahead. That's the way we've come. And there's uphill. It's all my sunrise. Quarter past eight. Okay. Still quarter past eight, and here's a bit of a downhill, down incline, takes a bit of negotiation. Yeah, yeah. No, you do your thing, girl. Do you do your thing, sir? <laughs> you included here. I'm missing all the own people here. Actually, the soil's quite left here. It's not too. There's another path. I wonder where this comes from. Anyway, there's the pass. And now a bit of an uphill pass here. My favourite. <laughs> My favourite. The good news is that I think it's the one that's called the one that's called the one that's called the one that's called I just love them. Can you feel my enthusiasm? There we go. Sam, Sam, she's our girl. If she can't do it, no one will. Go, Sam! <laughs> oh, well, that gives you an idea of, uh, of the incline. Because you like, kind of like half climbing. But those ones that you just walk and walk. That feels like it's no bloody end. <laughs> yeah, the, the uphill walks. Ooh. Quite exhausting. Like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's back too soon. Uh, I have an idea word, but I won't use it right now. <laughs> yeah, you're being recorded. <laughs> I won't use that word. <laughs> mm. And it's 25 past, and we're still on that incline. Taking a break every so often, just to catch our breath. Uh, to be honest, I can't remember this when I did this. I can't remember from doing it the, the previous time I did. So Daniel, George, boss. And we're still climbing. Straight. 
stretch those strides, work those glutes. Yeeha, let's go. Half past, still climbing. There's Michelle. Hello, Michelle! There she is. Okay, I don't know if you can actually see that. Let's see if I can zoom in. It doesn't look like I can zoom in in this mode. Anyway, I'll zoom in in post production. I'll try to at least. Just pause, half post. And we're all huffing and puffing, but thankfully the path seems to be leveling out now a bit. Might still be a bit of incline over there where Christine is. But hopefully the worst of the climb is done now. Okay, it's going on to 22.9 and this seems to be the top of the climb. And according to my GPS, we have just done about 1.38 kilometers. Elevation is 944 meters. And we've had a moving time of 22 minutes and 50 seconds. Total time 38 minutes 52 seconds. So now for a nice pleasant bit of downhill again. And then it looks like it flats out. And uh, going on to quarter two, and there we can see our first view of the neck. That's where we've come from. The top of the climb is just around this bend, a little bit up the hill. And let's see, distance wise, we've got. 1.56 kilometers up to this point. Elevation Okay, it's going 10 to 9 and here's a bit of a climb down. This is where the 1.84 kilometers in. We're a very patient group. Quite. We're taking advantage of all the rest stops.
Okay, going on to five to nine, and everybody stopped here to have a view down the valley. It's quite a nice view. And uh, we've just decided to designate some landmarks. So we're approaching Kampfersluss Neck over there at the indentation. And then on the further side, we decided to call that Kampfersluss Kop. And then if that's the Kop and this is the Neck, then this one up here must be the Bum. Ha 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 ha. Five two, <laughs> and uh, still climbing down. <laughs> Takes a bit of negotiation. I hope you've got photos of all this. <laughs> no, I've got video of all this. <laughs> Cole's got the photos. I've got the video, and then somewhere between the two of us, you've got all the evidence you need. Going on to nine, and uh, coming in from the other side, down that hill. These pine trees do not look this dense, but then from the side, it looks like a forest. Five past nine, going on to five past nine, that's the way we've come. You can see it's still fairly clear on that side. But here we come into the pine trees and suddenly it is a forest. This is so this is 2.14 kilometers into the hike. Um, according to measurements, previous measurements, um, Kofferslof Nick should just be around the corner at about 2.2 kilometers. We'll see how it goes.
That's the that's the butt. Kampferskloof butt. And it's about 20 past 9. And then we're approaching the neck now. And there's the kop, the head. And then that's the way we've come. And it's nice and cool in the shade. With a bit of a breeze, slight breeze every now and then. It's a very comfortable hike. Twenty past nine. Hour and twenty minutes after we've started, and here's the sign on the neck. It says Compass Cliff. Distance here is. Can you see that? Let's see. How should I turn to make that visible? Anyway, it says two point six five kilometers. Moving time 47 and 47 minutes and 49 seconds and total time 1 hour 21 You can probably hear the breeze on the microphone the head and here's the cliff on the other side. Do you see what I see? Theoretically, it should be possible to go along here a ways and then either over or around in the nap and then get onto the knife edge ridge and walk in the easterly direction. And then take the take the downhill down bone crusher back to the Sputnik. I've heard of people doing that, but I don't know exactly where this path goes and how it gets there and what the terrain is like. So I don't know how long it's going to take. And then this. This goes to the head. Not the loo, the Kampferskloof head. Kampferskloof kop.
Okay, so it's uh, 25 past nine and uh, Michelle and I are, have decided to go to the top and the others can have a rest while we have a further excursion. There's an airplane flying over the mountain under the moon. Can you see the moon? Is the moon in shot? The moon might be in shot. Anyway, quite a nice view. Very nice view. Wide open spaces. Far from the madding crowd. I haven't read that book, but yeah. Distance here is 2.75 kilometers. Okay, it's about 25 to 10 and I've decided instead of calling the opposite side the bum we'll call it the butt as short for buttress as a sort of a what's a buttress uh, like a, a reinforcement a wall a tower uh, a military structure of defense yes okay so there you have it It's going on to quarter two, and I've just discovered a blowkop kochamaner or something with a blue head. And it's looking at me like I'm looking at it. There it goes. So I think you might have seen that. Okay, so it's uh, going on to 5 to 10 and here we are at the top of Kampfeskloof Head, Kampfeskloof Kop and here be the view on the other side looking towards, is that Oetzorn? Could it be? Could that be Oetzorn? Yeah. That's Oetzorn. Yeah. Who'd have thunk it? Anyway, there's some loud motorbikes down in the pass. And Fensterberg. The third little head from the left hand side, that one there, that's Fensterberg. Also known as Atenik, no, it's not Atenik View, it's the second one, where is it now? The second one might be called Atenikwa View. But Gillerboomberg, that's the other name for Fensterberg that I saw on the maps on the internet. And then there's George. And just past that tree there. That's that's Karak Peak in the distance. And then Kampfuskloof Butt, the buttress. Okay, time for some water and a snack. Forgot to record, okay, so it's still going on to 10 o'clock. And we've got 3.37 kilometers up to this point. Elevation 1069 meters, 1069. Uh, moving time, one hour, one minute. Total time, one hour, 57 minutes.
Okay, uh, 20 past 10 and we're going down. Following these markers, every so often along the way, somebody's piled some rocks to indicate this is the way. Okay, and it is going on to quarter to 11 and we're back down and there we were and here we go. Yes, Mel. I've been recording you while you're recording. Right. So I'm going to link your video in my video. And I'm recording, still recording you. Recording well, I'm... Me. <laughs> recording you. Recording me. This is that such is a... Americans do. <laughs> <laughs> this America. This is such a meta They're recording. I mean, like in America, you've got GoPros there with people at work, work and stuff. They holding their GoPros all over the show and recording each other. <coughs> People don't even see the camera. Like this Bet Stick uh, channel that I follow, for instance. I mean, he's recording his work. His friends come and they record him. He's recording his friends. Every, uh, everyone's got to own their own channel. Recording everyday occurrences. Yeah. The okay. next dig has got about 600,000 subscribers. So who knows how many viewers. If you've got so many subscribers, you don't have to be a subscriber, as you know. Yeah. You have to be a viewer. Yeah. And then there's Andrew Kamatra. But uh, also, there's the weirdest kind of work. Put over a million, subscri million subscribers. There's a camper, a guy, Joe Robbing it. You may want to check him out. Mm -hmm. Canadian guy that goes out camping. But at least he's, he's videoing camping. Yeah. But the other people are just videoing office cubicles, I suppose. Yeah, the other people are. Um, actually, what the. What is really ironic, but it is an example, is when you get people that go and stand in the street and for a particular reason, they will have a reason, they target a, a specific business. Now this turns ugly, but it's, a, but it's just an example. They're standing on the street recording 
a business with every camera they can have. They've got a GoPro on the top, they've got a GoPro on the shoulder, they've got a DSLR, point and shoot. Owner of the business comes out, you're not allowed to record me. And they say I'm on public ground. I'm going to phone the police. Well, phone the police, we're on public ground. We can record anything we can see. As long as we're on public ground. Please come. What ends up happening is the owner takes the phone out and there's a ritual starts recording the people that are recording his business. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then the people that are recording say, Oh, you want us to smile? You can do that too. America's full of cameras. It's like. Uh, A recording contest. Yeah. Who can who can record the best? Who can record the most? Or who can be the most ridiculous recorder? Yeah. Guess who's holding it? A friend of a friend of mine has got both cameras working there. And the angles are looking exactly the same. Now guess what? I'm gonna have to go down and get the camera so that <laughs> you can come up with these camera. Ah. No, I think it's okay. Got it, got it. There we go. Thanks. That defeats the whole object, I think. Anyway, that maybe gives an idea about some of the terrain. Uh, what some of it is like. No, it's going on to 11. I don't know how well this is going to come out, but at the moment, I have a very interesting situation of standing in the shade of a pine tree sun all around and then uh, it's so weird ambiance that's the word ambiance and look at those rocks over there they're sort of sheer they're flat coming down on the side perhaps I should shoot, zoom in there and there's a little stream coming down listen carefully And this is, let's see, on the way back, 4.54 kilometers. Okay, quarter past 11 and I think this is at the top of the climb again coming back from that way let's see what we're doing distance wise 5.2 kilometers up to here and we're at elevation 945 meters above sea level moving time one, one hour 35 
total time, three hours, 14. Okay. Yeah, and it's about time for a rest, I think. Okay, so it is going on to 20 to 12. Almost home. We've just passed the turn off to Campus Cliff. That's the way that we've been and returned. And here's Bone Crusher going up the hill. I don't know why it's pointing the other way. And that is. I don't know where this goes. It does seem to... No? 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 Nope, it goes nowhere. That's pass to pass over there. This is not pass to pass. Okay, now we know. Anyway, distance up to here is 6.18 kilometers according to my GPS and moving time 1 hour 53 total time 3 hours 40 up to this point let's turn this the right way if we can like like that about somehow come on guys something like that yeah 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 okay right let's go and going home and going on to quarter to 12 here's the yeah that's pass to pass it says pass to pass and that's where we've come from yeah so swallows and here's the Sputnik signage again Sputnik Lunar Lander Generator making noise during blackout During the scheduled blackout And here we are, back to where we started. Okay, let's get some specs. It is quarter to 12 and 6.58 kilometers, one point, no, one hour, 56 minutes, moving time and three hours, 44 total time and thanks guys i'm not the only one